Welcome to Christian Worship in God's House at St. John's. We gather together for the seventh Sunday of Easter and join in Divine Service Setting 3 is printed for you in your service folder. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. O oh, Almighty God, merciful Father, I, a poor, miserable sinner, confess unto you all my sins and iniquities with which I have ever offended you and justly deserved your temporal and eternal punishment. But I am heartily sorry for them and sincerely repent of them. And I pray you of your boundless mercy and for the sake of the holy, innocent, bitter sufferings and death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, to be gracious and merciful to me, a poor sinful being. Upon this your confession, I by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word, announce the grace of God unto all of you. And in this stead, and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I therefore forgive you all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We sing together our intro from Psalm 27 is printed in your service folder.
King of glory, Lord of hosts, uplifted in triumph far above all heavens, leave us not without consolation, but send us the spirit of truth whom you promised from the Father, for you live and reign with him and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Our first reading today comes from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. And when they had entered, they went up to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James the son of Alphaeus and Simon the zealot, and Judas, the son of James. All these, with one accord, were devoting themselves to prayer, together with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. In those days, Peter stood up among the brothers. The company of persons was in all about 120, and said, Brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand by the mouth of David concerning Judas, who became a guide to those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us, and it was allotted his share in the ministry. This man bought a field with the reward of his wickedness, and falling headlong, he burst open in the middle, and all his bowels gushed out, and became known to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that the field was called in their own language al that is, field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, May his camp become desolate, and let there be no one to dwell in it. Let another take his office. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to the day when he was taken up from us, one of these men must become with us a witness to his resurrection. And they put forward two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also called Justus, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, you, Lord, who knows the hearts of all, show which one of us these two you have chosen to take the place in the ministry and apostles, apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them. And the lot fell on Matthias, who is numbered with the eleven apostles. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Christ has risen from the dead. God the Father has crowned him with glory and honor. He has given him dominion over the works of his hands. He has put all things under his feet. Our epistle reading today comes from John's first epistle, chapter 5. We receive the testimony of men. The testimony of God is greater. For this is the testimony of God that he was born concerning his son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has the testimony in himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar, because he has not believed in the testimony that God has borne concerning his son. And this is the testimony, that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God 
does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. And this is the confidence that we have toward him. If we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests that we have asked of him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please rise for the reading of the Holy Gospel. Gospel according to St. John, the 17th chapter. Jesus said, And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be sanctified in truth. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. We join together in the common confession of our Christian faith. We use the words of the Nicene Creed as printed in our service folder. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Christian and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated. We sing as our hymn of the day, hymn 662, Onward Christian Soldiers, hymn 662. 